Okay, do you have any sagacious pieces of information for us? I think that believing yeah. is, is my main go-to attribute that I want to strengthen and preserve uh, because that's where I find most of my creativity is, is by believing it, channeling it, feeling it. So most of my music comes from that. And then to finish some of my songs, I've got to be more disciplined and use maybe theory or other influences to wrap up the package. But, okay. but the initial artwork comes from just believing in my feelings and then trying to express them through the guitar and, and lyrics as best I can. And I lie myself the mouth and light. Sometimes I gotta tell myself I live a I was born and raised in Virginia, oh, okay. and then wow. I spent a long time out in Aspen, okay. uh, two different chapters in my life. Um, the most recent was uh, with my wife, Eliza, we were out there for eight years, and I played music all over the place, and that really taught me to, to find more, more avenues, more venues, more... You had to really pick up your courage. What happened that you had to do that for? Yeah, moving out here. We just got here three months ago. And my wife and three girls. Oh, I love and that. It's, it's for this right here. I mean, this is like living a dream right here. I mean, can you take a little peek out this window with me and just look at that? Look at this. Look at what I came out here to see. Me, of course. <laughs> look at this. Colors, so. Thank you. Look at this. I mean, that's why I moved out here. Yeah, you know, moving three children, <laughs> taking the risk, putting all the chips on the table, selling the house back in Virginia, sacrificing that cozy mountain land lifestyle with maybe multiple dogs and some acreage for an apartment here to really tap into the local vibration. Lyrics are one of your sounds that um, oh, wow. cool. that means something special to you right now. The world has a song, and I want to sing along. You have a certain key or a certain um, melody to that sing along that you want to sing. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I'll just play it. Later. Oh, you will? Oh yeah. Okay, what's the clue song. for it? It's about harmonizing with with uh, our net, our our surroundings, people. Around us, um, oh, awesome. trying to be helpful, be a servant to the vibration. And so, there's already a song, and I want to sing along. Nice. What was the first instrument you played? Guitar. And what was the first song you learned to sing on the guitar? I started writing. Oh. And then, but of course, Jimi Hendrix was in there. Maybe a JJ Club song. Kale, one of my heroes, oh, yeah? He really draws me in with his uh, mellow approach. Can you tell me three words to describe what music means? No music is. Authentic, heartfelt, soulful. <laughs> Beautiful! No, I, I got a word for her though, extemporaneous. Oh, oh yeah? Dictionary word! Yeah, and that's where you just speak from your true mind, I think. It, you don't have to have a script, you just know you're telling the truth. Extemporaneous. Oh, extemporaneous. Conscience speaking for you, I believe, is the way I interpret it. Extemporaneous. You Miss Fanny. Miss Franny, That's the way I look at it. Joshua has a, um, a word for you, a dictionary word. Extemporaneous. To speak fluidly with, without uh, any doubt in your mind that what you're sharing is. is I don't feel like speaking right now. I came to look at some feeling. In your training, what was what is your discipline strategy? To try and see what I can come up with, you know, in this little pocket that we're all using on the guitar 
and the range of notes we have to work with, I really do want to see if I can discover my own little, you know, original take on it. Even though there's nothing really new under the sun, I think that the, some of the most brilliant stuff is how ACDC or John Fogarty or Billy Gibbons or 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 Jimi Hendrix can take all the same chords and come up with iconic hooks, iconic leads that 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 cut a groove in our, our culture. So I'm sort of digging in a hole, looking for those hooks, looking for those little those little magical things that can happen in, in a song. And, and really try to turn wow. people on, take them on wow. a trip. I love the classic songwriting structure from Bob Dylan and Neil Young and, and, and that, that we grew up with, which is about a two and a half to three minute song that, that sends a message, nails the point, and it's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, hey, Joshua. We look forward to hearing you. Thank you so much for having me. What a really cool thing. Go to Radio Venice. Oh, Ooh. Um, uh, my name is Aaron Shaggy. I was born in the Valley. Um, I play guitar. Today I'm playing guitar. I'm Thurman. Um, I'm actually guesting. I'm not usually part of Alex Twins. Got to music. Uh, ever since I was little, I always just really drawn to music and uh, fell in love with bands like Peanut Pink Floyd and Led Zeppelin when I was 14, and the rest is history. Beautiful. Thank you so much for we are, sharing. We are 30 years later. Ah, that's a lot of that's a lot of work, huh? Yeah. All right, there you go. Your guitar is set up. If I didn't have to set up so much. I would have talked more. That's a Mesa Engineering. What does that mean? Sorry. Oh, that's just that's the company. Does it mean there's like old? I sent you the invoice. Yeah, so beautiful. <laughs> Look at how that's beautiful they are. Tell us a little bit about music theory. There you sure, go. Sure, music. Theory. <laughs> that's called feedback. That's more sound engineering. But that's, uh, you know, notes chords, melody and harmony, rhythm is rhythm obviously, and here we have all three represented. The first official instrument that I played was saxophone in the sixth grade. No inspiration, just I joined the school band and picked up saxophone because I, I just loved how it looked. What? You played in the, sc in the high school, school band? band? Uh, or middle school? Middle school to high school. Okay, so I, well, that's interesting. I did the whole thing and um, I, was, I was actually okay at sax. And then at 14, I, I discovered the guitar. And then I discovered that you actually have to practice. Yeah. Um, the guy that inspired me was this little, like, 10 year old kid. He's like a second cousin. He stayed at my house one weekend and just picked right up this up. acoustic guitar that was in the corner and just shredded it. I was, oh, like, 13, wow. I was like 13 or 14, and I was like, I have to do that. Oh. So, guitar was very much a, like, it was, I remember the moment. Oh, so you remember the song as well? That's really cool. It was La Malagueña. Oh, what is that? Uh, it's, it, it's a classical piece. I'm sure Michael can, Michael definitely knows about that. It's a Spanish piece. Lyrics. And what you know about silence. Yeah, yeah. Space, space jazz. Space jazz. Three facts. Uh, I believe the biggest uh, singular object in our galaxy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So check that one. I believe it's Jupiter's magnetosphere, which is like the size of three Jupiters. I don't know. Jupiter's magnetic field, I think, is the biggest singular thing in the solar system. Yeah, we get pulled by the moon, and so now we're getting pulled by Jupiter. Well, Jupiter's got like what, seventeen moons or something? Jupiter's magnetosphere. Magnetosphere. Learn some great words today. Magnetosphere. 
Real quick before I um, can you tell me a little bit about what you know about the planets? Yeah, do you have any fun facts for us? We'll die eventually. Oh my goodness gracious, the drummer. The drummer. Electromagnetic field into our body and emits electricity so the closer we get to it. Playing the sitar has helped my ear with the therapy. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. That, it definitely it has. Can you hear the notes in between? <laughs> right. Give me that 40 minutes. Anticipating it coming. Sounds good.